So the king of Israel was facing an enemy, the king of Aram, which is now what we know as Syria. And the king of Israel, of course, had God on their side, his side. And there was this prophet named Elisha. Now Elisha heard from the Lord. He heard the plans of the enemy from God and constantly kept the king of Israel updated. And this made the king of Aram upset because every time they moved somewhere, well, Israel knew where they were going to be. Well, Elisha, of course, had full confidence in the Lord. Being the prophet, he heard from the Lord. He knew what the Lord was telling him. He was in tune with him. He listened to the Lord. And, and that, of course, is going to give you full confidence in what God's going to do. Well, his assistant was always with him, right? Always taking care of him, always helping him out along the way. And one night, the king of Aram wanted to kill Elisha because, hey, that's the only way we're going to defeat Israel, they thought. If we kill Elisha, they can't hear from the Lord. And of course, they don't understand how God works, right? God's way bigger than we are, way bigger scope than we are. But anyway, they try. They send an army to surround where uh, Elisha and his assistant is. And what do you know? The assistant wakes up and he says, what are we going to do, Elisha? We are completely surrounded. And Elisha prayed for his eyes to be open to see who is fighting for him. And here's what goes down in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16. He says this. He says, uh, let me flip there. He says this. So he answered, he said, do not fear for those who are with us are far more than those who who are with them because you see he prayed that the assistant eyes would open and the assistant all of a sudden saw the army of God saw the chariots of fire and realized hey wait a minute there is an enemy he is real and there is God and he is real and his eyes were open that Elijah helped him out that God is bigger he is better than any enemy so don't forget that while you're there where God has you don't forget the Lord is bigger. He wins the battle. He's on his throne. So I want to encourage you today. Remember that. Remember that. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16. Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon. God bless you. Bye.